I'll be going over what wood books I have in my library and how useful they were to me during my structural engineering career and if I'm still using them and how practical they are. Essentially, should you have those in your library if you're a practicing structural engineer? Hey, I'm Matt. I'm a structural project manager in the Southern California area. Let's get to today's content. All right, if you work in the US, uh, you should already have these. This is uh, pretty much the code books, the NDS. So you have the NDS 2015 edition right now. I think they have a newer edition, 2018. But you should already have these. I don't have to go over these too much um, just because they're, they're pretty much the code book. But you should also have the SpidWiz for any seismic stuff. I'm not going to dig, dig uh, too deeply into these because they're the code books. They got good examples and you should be using them anyways or else I'm um, not sure how you're, you're designing with, <laughs> without them. But the one that I found helpful that not, that's not really a requirement is the, the wood frame construction manual. This is also by the American Wood Council. I actually use this a lot during the beginning of my career just because it has a lot of details. And for me, one of the most challenging parts as a, as a young structural engineer and not having designed in wood that often was figuring out what, what the detailing was because there's, there's a lot of details and it's, it's kind of hard to interpret it in, in 3D. So what the wood construction manual does is they basically give you a lot of, of details and how they construct it in the field. So for me, if you're a beginning engineer and you're not too familiar with what the details are and how it works in at least a residential wood construction, I highly recommend getting this book. It even comes with a commentary and it also has some one and two story single family uh, dwellings. It has some design tables for those. But the most useful thing, as I said, is, is the detailing that goes into this. My main reference books for wood construction and, and wood structures is the Design of Wood Structures by Donald E. Brayer. This is basically the wood design Bible. I think a lot of engineers already have this. Um, it's basically, if you have this book, it, it pretty much teaches you about wood design in terms of detailing, analysis, and even seismic design. So you should already have this book in your library. Definitely a must have book. You know, I sometimes use this, this Codemaster summary sheet. It's useful just because it's kind of like a big cheat sheet of, of wood design. So sometimes I use it, it's, it's a good summary, but um, if you're interested in it, it helps just because it is all condensed into a, a couple sheets of pages. So definitely worth looking into if you want a cheat sheet for wood design. If you've been working in the wood design industry, you probably already have your wood uh, construction catalogs. Like for me, I have my uh, USP and my Simpson catalogs. For those of, if you're a student or if you've ever seen these, you'll be using those a lot. They basically go through all the a lot of the connections that you'll be using once you're in the industry. So you'll be getting a, a use to these tables a lot, whether it's uh, with Simpson or USP or, or another manufacturer. They basically have a lot of these catalogs out. They're free, just go to the website or you can even uh, go to like a booth and <laughs> they'll give you free samples of it too. So definitely something that you'll be using a lot, but it's a free resource. So I work a lot with seismic design. So this seismic design manual is pretty much uh, a pretty good resource. I wouldn't say essential because there's a lot of other books that have a wood seismic design also, but definitely a very good reference to have if you're working in the seismic zone. I found this very useful just because of the detailed examples that it has. It also has some for uh, uh, masonry buildings. So definitely pick that up if you don't already. A lot of firms already have these types of uh, example books. So highly recommended if you work in the seismic zones. The other book that I have is The Analysis of Irregular Shape Structures, Diaphragms and Shear Walls by Terry Malone and Robert W. Rice. Uh, this one's kind of uh, a little more specialized. If, if you find yourself that you're dealing with a lot of uh, 
funky structures, a lot of irregularities in your in your wood buildings. This one might be a good resource to go to. It's it's actually pretty good. I think they go through a lot of different methods of doing a complicated diaphragms and, and shear walls. Sometimes it may not be the most practical just because sometimes the diaphragms do get really complicated and they do have a, a good method of analyzing it, but sometimes it is very tedious to to implement these. This book does a good job of explaining the diaphragm basics, shear wall basics, and then it gets into a lot of different ways to analyze complex diaphragms or buildings with different types of irregularities that you'll probably encounter a lot if you're dealing with uh, single family homes or or fancy complex uh, structures that, that are stepping all over the place and that are slanted and that have a lot of irregularities. And it, the book does a really good job of explaining those and ways to get around those and ways to analyze those types of diaphragms or lateral resisting systems. So I definitely use this book, but if you don't deal with those too much, then it may not be too useful, but I've always found it uh, pretty useful uh, during my career. I'll provide a link to those books in the description below. If you want to support the channel and you want to purchase those books, use the links below. I do get a small commission. If you don't want to support the channel for some reason, that's fine too. Just type in the book titles in your web browser. Also make sure to check out my structural engineering podcast below. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also comment below. Do you agree with the, my book reviews or do you have other books that you use in your structural engineering library. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.